Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day and you guys can drop it drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you we we'll also do other things but you can find the links to those things in the description box and just enjoy it we have our second youtube channel patreon podcast just click the links and you'll find your way there so today i'm going to be reacting to british girl converts to islam and christ street tower so without wasting time let's get into the video Go to my to the people and tell them worship God and we are the message of God. He gave them something that differentiate them from the rest of the people. So when the people saw the things that they came with, they knew they are true prophets. For example, that Prophet Muhammad prophesies about the things that is taking place right now. He mentioned that 1400 years ago. Okay? For example, which one he said? He said about it will come a time when you see the bare fruit out of man. It's careful here. Competing in building tall buildings. When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that, the Arabs were not known to build the tall buildings. Those who were known, the Persians, the Romans, the Egyptian, the Greeks. Let me ask you, where is the tallest building in the world? Dubai. So the question you ask yourself, how this man knew that? You know what I mean? Like, not randomly, specifically, precisely in details. Another prophecy, Prophet Muhammad said to, to, to the Muslim, there will come a time, the Muslim, they will overpower Constantinople. You know Constantinople? Istanbul now. Yeah? That took place 800 years after Prophet Muhammad passed away. You know? So again, how he knew that? Are you familiar with the Bible? Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay. okay, I'm going to show you something as well, because I want you to see that if you're really going to become a Muslim, inshallah, you're not going to become Muslim because you just, as a Muslim, you just believe. believe. No, we, because as a Muslim, we have a tangible proof to establish Muhammad as a true prophet. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, like in the Bible, Prophet Muhammad came to the Jews and the Christians, and he told them, "My name and my description is in the Bible." Some of them said, "No, they rejected it." I'm gonna show you. Watch this. And I'm sorry for taking your time. Yeah? Thank you. This prophecy, Isaiah 42. Servant comes to glorify the Lord. So this prophecy, Isaiah is a prophet, came before Prophet Muhammad, after Jacob and Moses. So he's prophesizing, prophesizing about someone coming in the future. So he said, Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul delight. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the Gentiles. You know the Gentiles? The Gentiles prophet is coming for the Gentiles. Okay, so it goes on to mentions here. I'm gonna show you the main point here. He said, Let the village that Kida inhabits, let the inhabitants of Sila sing it. So there's two names mentioned here a place and a person. Kida, who's Kida? So we go to the Bible, 25 13, and it tells you who's Kida. And this word is the name of the sons of. Ishmael by their names according to their generation. The first born of Ishmael, Nabiyoth. Then who? Kedah. So these prophets from here is not coming from the lineage of the Israelites. Jesus came from the Israelites. The only prophet after Isaiah came from Kedah is the prophet Muhammad. From the Muslims and the non-Muslims. All of them agree with that. And here is what? Let the inhabitants of Silla sing it. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. If you Google Sela, watch. Mountain Sela. I'll show you Mountain Sela and you're going to be surprised. Watch this. Sela, look. So this prophecy, so we look, remember when Prophet Muhammad came to remember Prophet Muhammad in his time, he didn't have access to these Bibles. Prophet Muhammad's time, the Bible was not translated to Arabic. You know? So how Prophet Muhammad knew that? Because Allah told him. You know? Like you know, uh, 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 
Every person is born to recognize the Creator and to worship Him. Prophet Muhammad mentioned that 1400 years ago. He said every newborn is born with a natural inclination. What is natural inclination? Is to recognize the Creator. They should worship Him. And now there was a study done in Oxford University and in Russia University. What is the origin of people? Is it to believe in God or not to believe in God? So what they did, they chose different uh, children from different parts of the world and they asked them questions. They came to know after a few years, uh, the, 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 the research was done in three years and they spent 1.1 million about it, yeah? on this uh, subject, on this uh, project. They came to know children are naturally born to believe in the Creator. But Prophet Muhammad mentioned that 1400 years ago. Again, how he knew that? Because from God. So I'm saying, so you, I remember, you just agree that we are, we are, we are the, there's a purpose for us to be here. And our purpose is what? To show the, to worship the Creator. Let me give you an example. I always mention this example. If I give you two million pounds, what would you say to me? Huh? Would, thank you. Would you remember me all the time? You would remember me. Two million pounds. You would remember, isn't it? You go speak two million pounds. Okay, I will give you two million pounds on a condition. Give me your two eyes. Would you do that? Because your two eyes is more valuable than two million pounds. What about the one who gave you two eyes for free? Why don't you thank him? Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying, would you remember him? Thank him. Like now, if someone comes with a gun, try to kill one of us, either we defend ourselves or we run away. Because why? The love that we have is so dear to us. What about the one who gave it to us for free? You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, the, the other thing I was going to mention, a person might say, I, I do worship the Creator, but how do you know the way you worship the Creator is the correct way? Because again, remember, based upon God's wisdom and His mercy, He did not leave it up to our intellect to come to a conclusion how to worship Him. Why? Because we have different feelings, we have different intellects. That's why he sent the prophets and messengers with the guidance and with the miracles to show the people the, the, the way how to worship the Creator. Like now, if you want to buy a gift for your friend, would you buy a gift that you love or your friend love? Likewise, you should worship the Creator the way he loves, not the way we love. Because the way we love, it could be subjective, you don't know. So what do you think what I said so far to you? It makes sense? Is it clear to you that you believe in one God, you should worship Him? But what we have to understand is, well, especially us, like in, it's a worldwide thing, yeah, but especially us in the West. To be honest, we are very, very busy with the world. We are so uh, busy, but we forget about death. That one day we have to live this life. That's why Allah sent the Quran. Allah will never punish anyone until the proof has been established upon them. What does it mean? If someone explain Islam, if someone is, uh, explain Islam to you and you turn away from it, then no one should blame except yourself or myself. Because from God's mercy, like you never knew you're gonna meet me today. Even though you said you've been watching videos, you see me on YouTube. You see, but you never. But it's from God's decree. Because Allah said, Allah did not create the creation to punish them. Rather, He created them because He wants to. He wants, he wants them to be his neighbors in the paradise. You see what I'm saying? So, if if it's clear to you, what is stopping you to become Muslim? Sorry? If it's clear to you and it makes sense to you, what is stopping you to become Muslim? You see, so you should become Muslim? Yeah, I just need to learn how to pray. Okay, I'm going to say you Arabic something, then translate it to you and repeat it after me. Okay? okay? You're basically going to testify. Testify. Are you going to, what are you going to say? What is in your heart? You're going to profess it. Okay, so say Ash Hadu An La Ilaha Illa Allah Wa Ash Hadu Anna Muhammadan Rasul Allah. You were a Christian before? Yes. Okay, Wa Ash Hadu Anna Isa. Rasul wa abdu Allah. I'm gonna repeat it in English. Say, I bear witness. There is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the last messenger 
and the servant of Allah and Jesus the servant and the message of Allah Alhamdulillah Muslim you know what you just did you went back to the origin you were born you were born to believe in the Creator but you know because you were born a Christian family so they show you a different way which you're born with and that is to worship God you know you want to cry yeah. and see I see you see we say look you know why because now remember anyone if you get if someone tell me I'm going to meet the Queen or the King of one of the country I'll be very happy but what about you now do you know what happened to you you entered and now you have a connect a connection with your creator the one who created you the one who provides for you the one who created your parents that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said the Quran all mankind all people remember Allah who created you and he created your forefathers and the one who provides for you from the heavens and the earth so Allah that is a big blessing how old are you 17 you know that's a big blessing like me my wife she became Muslim when she was 14 she is not Islam is the truth. I really love this, really, really love this. Uh, we're born to uh, praise or serve God, but then of late, of late, this has been on my mind too, too much. Um, how and I like that it was mentioned in this video, it's like he was thinking what I've been thinking. How do you know that the way I'm praying or praising God is the right way is something that I would like to understand. Because when if you sit down and say a prayer, should it be, okay, God, I want to eat maybe bread tomorrow? Or is that a wrong way of saying a prayer? Are we supposed to be that specific? Or maybe we should just say or ask God to provide us with food. I was pleased. I'd really like for someone to answer that otherwise this was very very amazing and happy for her very very happy for her I'm always happy to see such videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video